I was more of shock and just like, is this serious? Like, could this be? I never, I, I mean, I know it's possible. I know that it could happen, but I just didn't think that it would happen right then. So, yeah, I was shocked, mm -hmm. shocked. When my parents suggested a, an abortion, mm, I was a little shocked at their answer, but I also understood why they would say that. Because they're not just saying, oh, kill the, ba kill the baby because you're, it's a baby. Why do you need a baby right now? But they were more like looking out for me. I was upset at them because instead of talking to me and really trying to explain to me why they chose that decision, they just mostly said that I was going to get it and made the appointment. I didn't feel that my parents were supportive, supportive at all. Um, actually, the the beginning of my pregnancy, when that whole thing was happening, was the worst time ever. They did turn around. It, it did become. They did become much more supportive. My pregnancy made me feel sometimes alone. Um, Sometimes disappointed, but there were some good times. Like I was, I, I didn't have as many breakdowns as I used to. I wasn't, I, my stress was relieved because I did not want to have a miscarriage. My father would help me. My mother would help me. My other family members would help me. Kevin would help me. So. We weren't out there on our own, as most young teens are. I also go to a teen parenting program, which is actually across the street on 66 and Cottage, um, where all of us are parenting teens. Some are pregnant or who have two or more children. For my social life as a teenager, that really decreased a lot because I was stuck on a thing that I didn't want anybody to think that I'm one of those teen parents who don't really care about their child. It's just, just still going to go out and party and hang with their friends. It was always my son first. I wouldn't go out with my friends, even my friends from Simpson or my friends from my teen parenting program. I wouldn't go out with them because not only was he so young at the time, but still I, I feel out of place going out. I've just always felt felt out of place with my friends now, all my friends that I do have. Um, so that was a big change. And I'm okay with that sometimes because there are times when I do feel that I just want to have somebody to talk to or just be with a friend, just have fun without anybody judging me because I have a son. Society's outlook of a typical teenage father as a uh, dad be dad. But there are some good fathers out there, some good teenage fathers who do, who are there. Kevin, he's there. We're still together. We actually had our two year anniversary last week. Um, so his role is big in our lives. So he is very helpful. He does provide for me when he can. Um, he is supportive. We do have our ups and downs. And sometimes I do feel like I am the only parent. But we still are parenting together. And we do come together on some things. That way that we relieve tension. So we have our good and bad days. Or moments. Not date. It's really difficult trying to commit to school full time and you are still a full time parent. And then assistance from the state doesn't last you the whole month. So then I have to add on applying for a job. So that means that extra curricular activities at school I can't really do 
because I have to take care of my son. I have to take care of my education first and him. My parents, they've actually expressed to me multiple times that they are proud of me because I am still going to school. I'm making good grades. Um, in high school, I was I graduated at the top of my class. I was valedictorian, and I was also president of the student council. So they were proud of me that I wasn't letting my son stop me. I want to instill in him that you always got to keep going. Take your breaks. Take your time. But you got to keep going. You always got to have that motivation. always got to set that goal. I need the most strength when I'm feeling down about myself. Um, I need the most strength when I don't feel as though I can do these tasks that I have set out for myself. I need the most strength when I feel that I have just put so much on my plate that everything's just going to blow up in my face and I'm not going to be able to make it. But I find that strength with looking through him, I mean looking at him. I think motherhood is a labor of love. It's not work. You don't get paid for this. You, wait, no, you do get paid. You get paid out of the achievements and the developments and the success of your child. But there's no monetary gain. So it's not work. It's labor of love. So I say a good foundation with your child in academics and bond and understanding is what's needed for a good mother. And of course, loving and caring. That's always needed, that motherly feel is always needed for a good mother. I think that my community and I, or just society in general, I think we all share the same views of what is a good mother and what is not a good mother. And again comes the stereotypes of teen mothers as being bad mothers. Because we're young, they say we don't know what we're doing, we don't understand what's going on. Yet they never give us a chance to not to prove ourselves, but to be able to do better. Instead of positiveness, like, well, we, from our support groups that they do have out there, we do get support from that and we do get positive reinforcement. But from society in general, you still have others who just look at us with, in disgust. Now, I'm not saying that all team mothers are just wonderful and great, because we're not. We're not all perfect. But it's just the stereotypes that really, that really put a bad shadow over us and really make it hard for our children to live above that. I just love spending time with him, just period, because he brightens my day. I love his laugh. It's just really, really enjoyable. Motherhood means... I can't sum it up in one word, but I can say this quote that I do love and I will soon live up to is the Latin saying by Julius Caesar, Vini Vidi Vici, I came, I saw, I conquered. As mothers, we came here as young women. We are seeing the world as we become mothers. And then we conquer when our children are successful or our children are happy. So that is what motherhood is to me. And I really do hope that my life and my son's life does come live up to that.